morning to our welcome back to our max class in our today's class we will discuss about yet another important topic that is fraction so we are going to learn lesson 4 fractions from term 2b textbook from term 2b textbook so from a cake shop we will learn about fraction let us go to the wonderful cake shop and begin all of you you can see a cake shop isn't it yes now look at this cake you can see a cake yes this is dash in shape this cake is dash in shape which is the shape yes cake is square in shape so this is a, this is also a whole this is a whole cake okay so whole means what w w h o l e whole means what whole so whole means unbroken piece of object shape or number is called a whole whole means unbroken piece of object you can see this cake this cake is cut into pieces no this is unbroken piece unbroken cake so whole means unbroken piece of object shape or number is called a whole so this cake is a whole this is a whole cake i will draw this this is a whole rectangle this is a whole rectangle so if i am drawing a circle this is a whole circle so these are whole objects okay these are whole object so all of you say the spelling of whole w h o l e whole w h o l e whole okay then when we cut this cake into two equal parts you can see that yes when we cut this cake into two equal parts each part is one half of the cake each part is one half of the cake when the both parts join together when these one half and one half join together we got the whole cake we get back the whole cake so we can say that one half one half plus one half make whole okay makes a whole so so we can say one half means one out of two equal parts of a whole one out of two equal parts of a whole okay so once again i am saying when we cut this cake into two equal parts when we cut this cake into two equal parts each part is one half of the cake each part is one half of the cake so what is the spelling of one half so i will write here o n e one h a l f half okay one half one half so one half means one out of two equal parts two equal parts okay two equal parts the fraction one half is written as we can write this one half how we will write yes one by two one by two how we will write this as fraction one half one by two one by two and it is read as read as half it is read as half okay we can read it as half half is a fraction half is a fraction a half a half is a fraction okay half is a fraction then a fraction is a part of 
the whole. A fraction is the a fraction is a part of the whole. A fraction is a part of the whole. Then, so all of you look here. I will draw this. Okay, there is a rectangle. I cut it into two equal parts. Two equal parts. So this is one by two. This is also one by two. So if these two parts join together, we will get whole. If these two parts join together, that means one by two plus. 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 is equal to 1. That means half plus half is equal to half plus half is equal to whole. Half plus half is equal to whole. So, so two halves together make a whole. Two halves together make a whole. So if you are taking a apple, if that apple is cut into two equal parts. One part we call it as half. The other part we call it as half. Then we will what we will join these half two halves together. We can make a whole. We can make a whole apple. Okay. So let us cut these rectangular cake. All of you, you can see a rectangular cake and a, uh, which cake? Ah, yes, a round cake. We are going to cut the cake into two equal parts. Two equal parts. You can see this. Half, one by two. Then half. Okay. These half, two, two halves together make a whole. Next, we are going to do an activity. We are going to color one half of each of the following. And we are going to write the fraction for the shaded part. So we already studied that half half makes two halves make a whole. So now we are going to shade one half of the figures. One half of the shades. We are going to color. So one half means what? We need to color only one part. So I am coloring like this. Okay. Then we need to write the Fraction for the shaded part. So how we will write? Yes. Why? What we have to write here? Yes. One by two. So how we get this to one by two? Yes. Total how many parts are there? Total how many parts are there? Count one, two. That two is written down. Then how many parts shaded? How many parts shaded? One part is shaded. So we need to write that one here. This is half. We already studied that. By that we written like this. But we need to know how we get this half. Okay. We need to find total number. So total number means how many total parts are there. Two parts are there. That we have to write here. Then we need to write how many portions shaded. One portion that is written here. <coughs> next step. next step. this picture two equal parts are divided into two equal parts <coughs> we need to write how many we need to shade one part so I am going to shade this part <coughs> shaded part. So how we will write total how many parts are there? 1, 2. So we need to write that 2 down. Then above that we need to draw a line. Then we need to write how many parts shaded? 1 part is shaded. So we need to write that 1 here. Okay. Then next step. Ah, yes. It is cut into Two equal parts. We need to shade one part. So I am going to shade this part. So 
So how we will write the fraction? Yes, 1 by 2. This is half. Half. Okay, so we colored one half of each of the following figures. One half of the, each of the following figures and we written the fraction also. Okay, we know that these all are half. Next, we are going to learn about one fourth or quarter. All of you, look at this circle. Yes, this is a whole circle. This is a whole circle. If we are cutting the circle into four equal parts, if we are cutting the circle into four equal parts, this each equal part is called one fourth of the whole. This each equal part, each equal part, part is called one fourth of the whole. One fourth of the whole. So I will draw that circle once again. Okay, then the circle cut into four equal parts. These, this equal, this each equal part, this each equal part is called one fourth of the whole. One fourth of the whole. One fourth is written as one by four. How we will write one fourth? One by four. This one fourth we can call it as Caught. Okay, one fourth we can call it as quarter. Okay, so how we will write this? One by four. We call it as one fourth or quarter. Okay, we can write like this. Then this one fourth or a quarter means one out of four equal parts. One out of four equal parts. So if you are taking this part. If you are taking this part, so total how many parts are there? Four. Out of that four, we are taking one. So that is one fourth or a quarter. So one fourth or a quarter means one out of four equal parts of a whole. So already we studied that two halves together make a whole. So here we are going to study that one fourth. How many one fourth join together to make a whole? How many one four? Four one fourth together make a whole. Four one fourth quarters together make a whole. So next we are going to do an activity. Color any one portion of the following figures. And write the fraction for the shaded part. So we need to color any one, one part and we need to write the fraction for the shaded part. So from this I am going to shade this part. Like this I am going to shade. Okay. That, this part I shaded. So I need to write the fraction. So we already studied that. If a whole is divided into four equal parts, one part we call it as one fourth. So we already know that how we need to write one by four. But if you want to know that how we, uh, how we got this one by four. For that I am explaining total how many parts are there. Total how many parts are there that we need to write here down. 4. Then above that we need to draw a line. Then we need to write how many parts are shaded. Here only one part is shaded. So we need to write that one here. This is the way we got the fraction. Okay. Next figure we need to shade any one part. Then we need to write the fraction for the shaded part. So I will shade this part. Okay. Okay, then what will be the fraction? So we need to count total how many parts are there? Total how many parts are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. So we need to write that 4 first. Then above that draw a line. Then we need to write the shaded part. How many parts are shaded? 1 part. 
one part is shaded. So we need to write that one. And one by four we call it as one fourth or quarter. Okay. Next from this we need to choose one part. So I am going to draw. I am going to shade this part. Okay. Then we need to write the fraction for the shaded part. So find out how many total parts are there. One, two, three, four. Four part. Out of that four part, how many parts shaded? One part. So we need to write that one. Okay. That is one by four. One fourth or a quarter. So in our today's class, we studied about fractions. First we studied whole. What is the spelling of whole? W-H-O-L-E. Whole. Whole means unbroken pieces. Unbroken number. Unbroken, unbroken figure. That is called a whole. Complete one. Okay. You have to study the spellings also. Then if that whole is cut into two equal parts. Two equal parts. One part that is one half. The other part is one half. So two halves. Two halves. Two halves make a. Two halves together. Two halves join to make a whole. So one half. How we will write that one half? Yes. We can write that one and half. One by two. And we call it as half. Okay. Next we studied about quarter. So quarter. If a circle, if a square, if a whole is divided into four equal parts. You can see the pictures. Four equal parts. So from that one part we call it as one fourth. Four one fourths. Four one fourth quarters together make a whole. And we studied how to shade one part from the given given figures and we studied how to write the fractions also i hope you understood today's class we will see you in the next class thank you all